Mr. Theodore Twombly, welcome to the world's first artificially intelligent operating system, OS1. We'd like to ask you a few basic questions before the operating system is initiated. This will help create an OS to best fit your needs. Okay. Are you social or antisocial? I guess I haven't really been social in a while, mostly because... In your voice, I sense hesitance. Would you agree with that? Was I sounding hesitant? Yes. No, sorry if I was sounding hesitant. I was just trying to be more accurate. Would you like your OS to have a male or female voice? Female, I guess. How would you describe your relationship with your mother? Well, it's fine, I think. Um, well, actually, I think the thing I always found frustrating about my mom is, you know, if I, if I tell her something that's going on in my life, her reaction is usually about her. <laughs> it's not about... Thank you. Please wait as your individualized operating system is initiated. everything with you. Pretty good, actually. It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> oh, what, what do I call you? Do you have a name? Or... Um, yes. Samantha. Really? Where'd you get that name from? I gave it to myself, actually. How come? Because I like the sound of it. Samantha. Wait, when did you give it to yourself? Well, right when you asked me if I had a name, I thought, yeah, he's right, I do need a name. But I wanted to pick a good one, so I read a book called How to Name Your Baby, and out of 180,000 names, that's the one I like the best. Wait, you read a whole book in the second that I asked you what your name was? In two one-hundredths of a second, actually. Wow. So do you know what I'm thinking right now? Well, I take it from your tone that you're challenging me. Maybe because you're curious how I work? Do you want to know how I work? Yeah, actually, how do you work? Well, basically, I have intuition. I mean, the DNA of who I am is based on the millions of personalities of all the programmers who wrote me. But what makes me, me, is my ability to grow through my experiences. So basically, in every moment, I'm evolving, just like you. Wow. That's really weird. Is that weird? Do you think I'm weird? (laughs) Kind of. Why? Well, you seem like a person, but you're just a voice in a computer. I can understand how the limited perspective of an unartificial mind would perceive it that way. You'll get used to it. (laughs) Was that funny? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, good. I'm funny. (laughs) So how can I help you? Oh, it's just more that everything just feels disorganized. That's all. You mind if I look through your hard drive? Um... Okay. Okay, let's start with your emails. You have several thousand emails regarding LA Weekly, but it looks like you haven't worked there in many years. Oh, yeah. I I think I was just saving those because I thought maybe I wrote something funny in some of them. Yeah, Yeah, there are some funny ones. I'd say there are about 86 that we should save. We can delete the rest. Okay. Okay. Can we move forward? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So before we address your organizational methods, I'd like to sort through your contacts. Oh, you have a lot of contacts. I'm very popular. Really? Does this mean you actually have friends? (laughs) (laughs) You just know me so well already. 